Now another tip that's going to make your Android Studio development process a little bit easier is this thing called code completion. And I'll show you guys how it works right now. So under this method right here, click where you would first start writing your method and then hold down the alt key on your keyboard and hit insert. So right here it's going to pop up a bunch of different things. What we want to choose is override methods because remember we're pretty much inheriting all these methods from the activity class however we just want to customize them to add our own custom log message just so we can see what's going on. So click override methods and then it's going to give us a bunch of different options to override. So these are saying okay what method do you want to use pretty much do you want us to um, fill in for you well there's actually this method called on start so if you scroll down a little bit right here on start and hit OK there we go saves us some time again it took a little bit <laughs> it took a while for me to just explain it but if you're just doing it to yourself it takes like five seconds so pretty sweet but anyways now that we have this on start method what I want to do is actually just copy this to add another log that's going to print out on our screen and I'm just going to add on start now instead of me doing the exact same thing over and over and over again what I actually did is I took all of the methods that I want to overwrite and I actually put it on my forum so if you go to my forum again this is the URL I'll put this below the video if you guys just want to click on it but check this out I put all the source code right there so go ahead and copy this and hop over back to Android Studio and paste it back in and I actually um, can delete this because I copied that too but now it saved you a bunch of typing pretty sweet so all this program is going to do is it's going to print out a little message on the screen every time your activity changes states. Again, you would never want to do this in the actual app. This is just to demonstrate when each of these stages are going to happen. But for this example, it's actually pretty useful. So like I said before, whenever we use this little log program right here, by default, it's going to be printing out a bunch of random log messages, pretty much everything that's going on in your phone or your little emulator is going to try to print out but what we are only interested in are these log messages that we created right here so we need to build a real quick filter so to do that head over to your Android tab right here click on it and alright so those are a bunch of see these are all the ones we don't want to see and this is just because my emulator is running right now so obviously we want to make a filter and this is how you do this and another thing I want to point out is this is just a nice little Easter egg if you look at this log cat symbol you're gonna see that it's actually the Android head and this is actually non I don't even know how to pronounce it but you know that YouTube video where it's like that cat that looks like he's attached to a pop-tart or something with a rainbow come out of his butt that's a little symbol for that so um I don't know I just thought that was a cool little Easter egg alright so anyways back to building our filter what we're going to say is any log message that has this tag attached, Bucky's message, only show those. So make sure whatever you, whatever string you have here, copy this. Now in the drop down right here, select edit filter configuration. This allows us to build a filter right here. Now I actually already did this, but my microphone was off. So that's why this is filled in right here. I have a weird microphone and when you put it up it mutes itself and uh, so yeah I just filmed for about five minutes and then I was trying to edit the video and I'm like oh can't hear anything because I'm a moron so so again you're gonna have to call yours anything you want I'm just gonna call mine Bucky filter and the only other thing you have to add is by log tag regex just stick this right in here so it's gonna say okay filter equals built so now instead of no filters which show everything we can only show log messages with this attached pretty sweet so now just go ahead up to here and run your app now keep your eye on this little section right here because whenever our app actually builds itself and pops up 
it's going to start displaying those state messages. So of course choose OK and check it out. All right, so our app is loading and it switched back to this thing, you SOB. So I'm going to switch it back to Bucky's filter, but check this out. Let me position this so you guys can see it. All right. So the first thing it printed out was on create. Now I already told you guys and you well you obviously know what that method does. It pretty much just sets up the interface. Now after that, on start, this method always gets called right after either on create or on restart. So what on start means is pretty much your app is about to start up. The that's the most simple I can explain it. Now on resume what this means is it's a method that always gets called whenever your activity is the one that the user currently has open. So remember, anytime you want to add code that says, okay, the user is now looking at this screen, this is the activity that they have open, you can stick that in on resume. Now just to show you guys some cool stuff, whenever you actually close out of your app, hit the home button right here, look what happens. The first thing it does is it calls on pause and then it says on save instant state and then on stop. Now on pause what this means is the user is no longer seeing your activity. So whenever of course I was looking at that screen, no I'm now I'm no longer looking at it, then on pause gets called. Now another reason on pause may get called is maybe I just switched screens and I'm now looking at a new one. So again, those are two different times when your app is going to call on pause. Pretty much when your user is looking at the screen and they're not looking at it anymore. Now instead of talking to you guys about on save instant state in detail and on stop, there's actually a lot more different states than this. What you guys can do is I found this image online that is absolutely awesome and I stuck it in that same URL. So what you can see here is a pretty awesome visualization of every single state in your activity. Now again, I wanted to show you guys this because right now if I talk about every single one of these things in detail, it's probably going to be a little overwhelming and kind of pointless right now. So instead what I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to talk about these now that we understand what they are and that they do exist. I'm going to talk about each state as we need them.